The following program was recorded for broadcast at this time. I killed everybody since day one. I murdered them all. I'm God and I've killed everybody. Now what? Wacky and wicked. Charles Manson, a mass murderer. One of America's most notorious. Unrepentant. Still evil. We'll bring you to California's San Quentin prison for an exclusive interview with the cult leader convicted of ordering the massacre of nine people. Yeah, I, uh, I, I chopped up nine hogs, and I'm going to chop up some more of you mother I'm going to kill you as many as I can. I'm going to pile you up to the sky. But there's more to murder in America than the rambling threats of this psychopathic mind. Privileged people do it, too. Did you tell those women to kill somebody? No. No. I don't deal with women. I got to tell them what to do. They know what to do. And in your case, they knew to kill. They knew to take care of me. And you left a bloody trail around No, 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 no. You have Whoa, whoa, I said. You haven't seen the bloody trail yet. Tribune Entertainment and the Investigative News Group present the Geraldo Rivera Specials. Tonight, live via satellite from New York and locations nationwide, Murder, live from Death Row. It has been 19 years since we first heard of Charles Manson, the weird little man with the unforgettable satanic gleam in his eyes. The man responsible for creating a national paranoia, a dread that absolutely nobody was safe from mayhem and murder that any of us could be next. In this exclusive home in the hills above Los Angeles, owned by film director Roman Polanski, on a hot summer night in 1969, his wife, the actress Sharon Tate, coffee heiress Abigail Folger, friends Jay Sebring and Wojciech Pokowski, and neighbor Stephen Parent, became the first victims of the most gruesome, notorious mass murder in American history. Investigating the crime scene, all police could do was pick up the pieces. There were seven gunshot wounds, 169 stab wounds. The victim's fresh blood had been used to smear bizarre messages around the house. Even Sharon Tate's unborn child had been sacrificed. The eight-month fetus was stabbed in the womb. This was just act one in the Manson horror. The next night, supermarket tycoon Lino LaBianca and his wife, Rosemary, were added to the body count, butchered in the same ritualistic way. These murders weren't for money or revenge. They were the twisted idea of a career criminal named Charles Manson, the opening salvo of what he hoped would grow into a worldwide revolution. Helter Skelter, he called it, after a song by the Beatles. Manson was the evil mastermind of the scheme, but the murders themselves were carried out by disciples his so-called family, a ragtag collection of college-age kids who had given up their middle-class lives to follow their sick messiah. He robbed us from our parents, and he gave us back to ourselves. Yeah, every girl ought to have a daddy like Charlie. Should, deserves to have a daddy like Charlie. Squeaky Frome would later attempt to assassinate President Ford. The helter-skelter hit team included Susan Atkins, who proudly came back to Charlie after it was over with the blood still on her hands. Patricia Krenwinkle, who before she met Charlie had been a Bible student and Sunday school teacher who planned on becoming a nun. And finally, the chief assassin, Charles Tex Watson, student body president, voted most likely to succeed. They were the supporting cast, but once the scheme unraveled, center stage was dominated by Mad Manson. The million dollar trial gripped and horrified the nation. Even President Richard Nixon couldn't resist getting involved. Originally condemned to die, Manson is now serving a life sentence and has long been eligible for parole. Unrepentant, he is still possessed by a satanic spirit, which is at once fascinating and repugnant. Are you going to unhook me? Yeah. Unhook me then, damn it. Okay, let's get him unhooked. On Friday, March 11th, at San Quentin Prison outside of San Francisco, we explored the mind of a madman. Why do people murder? Why did those girls murder for you? Why did Texas they didn't murder, murder for, for me? You told them to. No, 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 no. Come back, GA. Come back. That's not reality. What is? No, reality is they did what they did. They're responsible for their own actions. I'm responsible for my actions. Did you tell those women to kill somebody? No. 
Dude. Don't just somebody, somebody man, ain't got hey, drugs hey, yet. hey, let me tell you something about tell a woman. The women I got, I don't got to tell them what to do. If I got to tell them what to do, I'll send them up on the highway and get them away from me. I don't deal with women I got to tell them what to do. They know what to do. If they don't know what to do, they better get stay away from me. And in your case, they knew to kill. They knew to take care of me. They knew to kill They for knew you. to look out for number they one. They knew to kill for you. No, no. And you left a bloody trail around No, 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 no. You who else knows whoa, what else you did? Whoa, whoa, I said. You haven't seen the bloody trail yet. <laughs> you haven't seen the bloody trail yet. What do you mean? Oh, it's been worse than that. You think all oh, them nine was just the first little, little marbles in the bucket. There's a whole road of people out there that's been getting killed. Why are 20,000 Americans being killed every year, Tony? Because the district attorneys are selling your blood, man. I don't understand that. The way you go to court, they need a conviction. They need criminals, man. They need people to lock up in cages. If they didn't have people to lock up in cages, man, they wouldn't be able to sell more fear to the public. And they sell more fear to the public, and all the old women, they love to buy that fear. They just lay back and watch that fear and read them detective magazines. What makes the knife or knife, the shoot or shoot? Society, the reflections of the child. Well, what about the responsibility of the person who's doing it? Who, what person is doing it? Susan Atkins. Susan Leslie Atkins Mal. is only doing what the society raised her up to do. Wasn't she only doing what you raised her no, up to do? No, 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 come on. You set a baby in the cradle and you go, get a black and black, 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 get a black and black. He's just no more, he's no more younger, older than I am. He's just a baby in the cradle. You tell him, baby, won't you light my fire? Baby, won't you light my fire? And then the kid grows up, and what's he start doing? <laughs> he starts lighting fire. You say, no good kid, fire bug, and throw him in reform school. You can't put the issue off on Charlie and say it's all Charlie's fault. It Show won't keep murder. Charlie it won't is keep. The issue. Okay, I mill, I, I kill everybody since day one. I've murdered them all. I'm God, and I've killed everybody. Now what? You know where I come from. The guys with guts. They do it themselves. Come on, man. What if I just jumped on you and beat that dog shit out of you? Would that make you feel any bigger? You would or what have about to have if you three friends? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Size yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, you're a dreamer. <laughs> yeah, you're a dreamer. I got dealt the hand, hippie cult leader. What the hell is a hippie cult leader? Wait, you want to be a hippie cult leader? Hippie cult leader, all right. Here's your family card. Oh, I'm the family, uh-huh. I'm all right. I got family card, hippie cult leader. Mass murderer, oh, mass murderer, nine dead bodies. Now I got this hand. Now how would you play it? How would you play it? How would you play this hand here? You scare people, Charlie. People are scared and they use me as an excuse. They're afraid of what they don't understand and what they don't know. They're afraid of Susan Atkins' bloody hands. Susan Atkins is working on her problems, man. She's got her world to deal with. Each one of those people that you call my family, they were geniuses. They all had college educations. Every one of them was very smart young people. They were a generation of the 60s. I wasn't a generation of the 60s. I'm a Bing Crosby fan, not a Beatle fan. You guys make me into be something I wasn't. I never had a beard or long hair in my life. I was a beatnik, not a hippie, you know? It's like, um, I'm street. I'm all the way street. I live in jail, like a lot of kids. They get busted when they're 8 and 10 years old because they don't have no parents. The jails are full of them. We'll have more of that Manson interview later, and we'll get reactions from Doris Tate. She is Sharon Tate's mother. And also from... When it comes to terror and violence, no killer has more notoriety than Charles Manson. Yeah, I, uh, I, I chopped up nine hogs, and I'm going to chop up some more, you mother... I'm going to kill you as many as I can. I'm going to pile you up to the sky. I figured about 50 million, if I could get about 50 million of you, I might be able to save my trees and my air and my water and my wildlife. You want to kill 50 million people? Well, that's, that's just a drop in the bucket to what's really coming. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to the sick mind of a mass murderer, incapable of compassion, alienated all his life from normal society. He lives in a bizarre world of violent thought. I don't care about your society. The public's a bunch of assholes. What when it care? comes down to it, they're for, they're for sale. They're what you, bought. What do you care about, Joe? I care about life. But you care All about life. But you'll kill 50 million people. Oh, no, I didn't say I would kill anything. I'm reaping the heads in thought. I'm Jesus Christ. Whether you want to accept it or not, I don't care. I got the thought. I'm reaping it in thought. In thought. It's a thought. You see what I'm saying? In other words, the whole world is in a thought. 
and I am in the thought of peace on Earth. I want to know how you feel about the fact that you are the stuff of a nation's nightmare. For years, you were the personification of everything evil, everything rotten in this country. Yeah, you dumped it all off on me. I was your goat. Like many paranoid psychotics, Manson blends a martyr complex with the sick illusion that he alone is innocent in a guilty world. Now, what? we'll say that I am all these things that you think I am. Right. Wouldn't that be more fearful than letting me try to be a nice guy? Would you want to make me into those things? Would you want me to be, do you need someone like that in your world? That's your judgment now. The judgment you're making on this mirror, man, you got to carry. You want to make me a terrible, violent, no good, so-and-so, and rah, -so, rah, when actually, in reality, I'm a deadhead, man. I've been dead since 1951. How'd you die? I died in the penitentiary in solitary confinement. Don't you understand I've been in jail since I was nine years old? I've sat in that cell 18 years. If you sat in that cell two weeks, you'd be banging your head on the wall. You <laughs> yeah. You know, so you come and live with yourself in a little old square box for 18 years with everybody getting down on you. And they haven't touched me, man, because I know what I did. I don't break laws. I make laws. I'm the lawmaker. I'm the one that laid the track down. I make the laws from here. This is me. Nixon was only playing over it. That's me. As our conversation continued, Charlie became more and more delusional, crossing the line between omnipotence and nothingness. I reflect the will of God, son. You can have anything I got. What God is that, Charlie? Yeah, the will of God. Whatever you want to call it, that up and down, 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 down. You call it Jesus, call it Muhammad, call it Boogie Bops, call it, Boo call it Nuclear Mind, call it Blow the World Up, call it uh, Your Heart, call it. Whatever you want to call it, it's still music to me. It's there. It's the will of life. They crowd me and I got this little space. My life is bigger than this little space. I live in the desert. I live in the mountains, man. I'm big. My mind is big. But everybody's trying to crowd me down and push me down and make me into all these little things that they need me to be. And that's not me at all, man. That's not me. See, there's a reverse side of everything, too. There's a positive and a negative. You come over like that, I was listening to, uh, to that. Is there any positive side to Charlie Manson? Positive to Charlie Manson, I'm both, negative and positive. Are you good and evil? I'm everything. You're evil? I'm everything, man. Tell me about the evil. I'm as whatever I have to be to survive. Would you do anything to survive? Well, what, I'm, I'm human being. Doris Tate. Someone else gonna say you can't do what you want to do in the land of the free and the home of the brave. I mean, if you're free, you can do what you want to do. Except hurt somebody else. Wait a minute, hurt somebody else has got nothing to do with it, man. If a guy's smoking grass, it's not hurting anybody else. You went a lot further than that, though. Oh no, 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 no. You know what I think? I think that you are an evil person. Right, I'm evil. I'm terrible. You are too. Oh, yeah, I'm awful. I'm awful. You're a murdering dog, Charlie. Oh, I'm a terrible dog. I'm a fiend. You're a mass murdering I'm dog. A mass murdering dog. For a transcript of this program, please send $5 to Journal Graphics, Murder Transcripts, 267 Broadway, New York, New York. Thank you for being with us. Good night. We'll see you next time, folks. Thank you all. Good night. There's one thing you can't do. What's that? There ain't too many things in the whole world you can't do. But there's one thing you can't do. What? You cannot break man's soul. You can bust his personality up. You can break the patterns of his brain. But the infinite soul, you can't destroy it. The infinite soul, you cannot destroy it. The infinite soul is forever. We talked about what I did. You, you want to talk about, about what I could do? I could do just about anything I want on my road. 
I could send for your head and put it in a box if I wanted. I wouldn't, but I could, just like you could too. It wouldn't last too long. Just like anybody else could, I huh? I got too many friends in here. You in here? Yeah. I ain't got friends in New York. Me too. I got ice picks there. Yeah, what are you gonna do to me? Nothing. Good. <laughs> Same thing you're gonna do to me. Yeah. Well then, look, quit trying to make me into your executioner. I'll see you around the corner. Now, I never killed anyone. Everybody that knows anything knows that. I never killed anyone. Would they be dead if it wasn't for you? What do you mean? Would, would the world be, be... The world wouldn't be here if it wasn't for me. If it wasn't for me, you'd all be gone. See you around. 